You can use this feature on the calculator to check if a number is a prime number. Let's take, for example, 47. And let's imagine that you weren't sure whether this was a prime number or not. Input 47 and press equals to make it your answer. And then we want the fact function from the calculator. So it's shift and then fact. Now you'll notice how it hasn't changed. If it doesn't change, that means the number that you have here is a prime number. You can also use this feature to break a number into a product of its prime factors, prime factorization. Let's take, for example, 72. We want to display this as a product of its prime factors. Make it the answer, shift and fact, and here you can see it displayed as two cubed times three squared, which you could then use in various questions, for example, to find highest common factors and lowest common multiples.